Welcome to the Her Sweet Spot Experience, dishing out tips and tricks on mindset, money, marketing, and media for your life and business, and where we talk to women about how they found their sweet spot. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Her Sweet Spot Experience first Monday. I'm Marsha Guerriere, your host and founder of the Her Sweet Spot Network. I hope that you guys have been enjoying our podcast and listening to all the great tips and tricks that we have been able to share and provide with you. But it is the first Monday, you know how I like to do, give you a tip or trick that I have learned along the way. And today's tip of the month is three misconceptions about entrepreneurship. Let's get right into it. Misconception number one, entrepreneurship means more personal time. All right, you're saying, but you work for yourself. Isn't that the point? Don't I see all the billionaires and unicorn developers having that personal time? Not really. It's true that entrepreneurship gives people the flexibility to dictate their own hours and spend more time doing things they want personally, but a lot of entrepreneurs, especially startup founders, spend their personal time working on their business, right? Especially if you are like me and you are working your full-time job and running your business semi-full-time, right? In the evenings after work, your personal time is really spent on developing your business and trying to take it to the next level. So while entrepreneurship, you know, um, the lady from Shark Tank, I forget her name, but her her saying is, uh, you know, entrepreneurs are the only people that quit their nine to fives so they, they, they could work or their 40 hours so they could work 80 plus hours a week. And that is so true. You'll find that most entrepreneurs, if you ask them, what do you do on your spare time? Most of them will tell you, and I'm one of them, I work. And I like it because I know at the end of the day, I'm doing something that's meaningful to me, something that I'm passionate about, and something that will eventually reap me the rewards so that I can spend more personal time vacationing, right? Misconception number two, entrepreneurship is an easy route to wealth or maybe the only route to wealth. You're right, guys. It is a route to wealth, absolutely, But it's not the only way. You know, if you've ever heard me or most of us business coaches, we tell you that there are seven or eight streams of income that every person should have. And entrepreneurship just fits a piece of that puzzle, right? You have to be ready to work twice as hard and twice and be twice as smart, right? As many other people, when you're an entrepreneur, when you are, you know, entrepreneurs dream big. There's a difference between entrepreneurship and small business owner. Entrepreneurs are forever developing, innovating, and creating something new. And because of that, we definitely work twice as hard. And, you know, and I also say, twice as smart. And smart comes in many forms. It doesn't have to be what, you know, that um, educationally smart. And that's not what I'm talking about. You have to be smart enough to know your industry so well that you can get the job done as a startup by yourself. And you know exactly who and when to hire the right teams to get the things done that you may not excel in. You know, I think about how how often at work, you know, you get a new employee or colleague and you train them, you spend so much time training them. And within weeks, I personally just had a colleague work with me at my job. She started and within a month of spending time with her, teaching her, training her, disrupting my normal schedule and work pattern, she resigned. 
You know, so if you can think about how you feel and you're not even the business owner, think about the time and the money that you spent to, um, was she a smart hire? She seemed like a smart hire at the time. She had all the qualifications, but the one thing we didn't know is that she had many balls in the air. She had other jobs she was possibly waiting for to hear back from places that she wanted to work preferably, right? And so there's so many factors into making the hiring decision, which leads me to the third misconception about entrepreneurship. You have to do everything by yourself. Uh -uh. While this may be true at the very beginning and at the start of any startup, new founders should have a plan for onboarding new team members, whether they are consultants, freelancers, part-time help, interns, and full-time employees, every business plan should account for growth, not just in revenue, but in team size. Without this plan in place, you're going to definitely set yourself up for that perpetual burnout that many founders and leaders face along their journey. It's wise for you to get yourself a small team and start to delegate. And I think that it is important for super early stage founders to do that. One of the things that's so important is that you build that um, that startup cost with hiring consultants in mind. That's really, truly going to help you create the foundation for growth and allow you to do the things that will maximize your time spent so that you can actually grow your business and do more income generating activity in your business rather than some of the mundane business day-to-day back end. So it's important for you guys to really build in that startup cost to hire, delegate, and really set yourself up to win big at the onset of your business. Guys, those are my three misconceptions about entrepreneurships that I wanted to share with you today on this first Monday of the month. We are moving into a new season. The fall will be here before you know it. Many people have either started school, going back to school, your children are going back to school. And so it is a hectic time in our lives right now. And I want to remind you all to really pace yourself and give you grace to allow things to actually not get done. It will be okay. It'll get done when it gets done. This too shall pass, but you have to take time for self-care and to take care of yourself. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. You know how I love to end each broadcast. When we empower each other, we all rise. Thank you all for listening and I'll see you on the next Her Sweet Spot Experience. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for joining us this week on the Her Sweet Spot Experience. Make sure to visit our website, www.hersweetspot.com. That's her, S-U-I-T-E, spot.com, where you can become a member of our growing community and get great content for your life and business. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. We are your strategic partners to grow your business.